I'm Jennifer Newman, founder of Pages for the Ages Scrapbooking, and today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful monarch butterfly. Scrapbooking is the best way to capture memories and make them last a lifetime. But how do you get started without spending a fortune? Pages for the Ages is here to help you out. This beautiful butterfly is found on my Butterfly Gardens page, which you can find at my shop online. This is a very simple design, and almost any scrapbooker can make it. Um, to begin with, we'll need to get our supplies. Take out these items. The Monarch Butterfly was inspired by my hometown. I come from a little town in Nebraska called Papillion, Nebraska. Now I created this butterfly very easily and it only takes about five minutes to do. What you'll need to get started is a butterfly stencil. I received this stencil with a calendar, a scrapbooking calendar. Um, for those of you who don't have a stencil, not to worry. Don't feel a need to rush out to the store and buy one. You can always create your own stencil at home. So for instance, go to Google Images, look for butterfly shapes. You may find a page such as this one. Print it out on your computer. In order to make your stencil, you'll want to get a hard piece of cardboard, maybe something from the bottom of a shopping bag, or you can even um, reuse an old cereal box. Go ahead and trace your stencil and voila, you have a sturdy piece of um, cardboard shaped like a butterfly, which represents the one that I have right here. All right, using my free stencil that I received with my calendar, I'm going to get started with our orange color um, piece of paper. You may want to stick with Crayola orange, otherwise burnt orange is a great option too. Set your paper down on your mat, making sure that you have a clean work surface in front of you. Set your stencil down, and it doesn't really um, matter what color you use to trace this with. I'm just going to use this black Zig Memory marker. Um, it's acid free, of course, and what's really great about these markers is they have two different ends. You also, um, for this project, may find it easier if you have a fine tip point as well as um, a thicker point. So to begin with, I'm going to start with the fine tip point and go ahead and trace this. Alright, I have my butterfly traced. Now I'm going to go ahead, take out a fine pair of um, regular scrapbooking scissors and cut that out really quickly. Next step, you're going to want to have a blank piece of scratch paper to put on. We're going to use our marker once again, using the thicker point if you have a thick marker, and you want to outline the edge of this butterfly. That's why in the previous step it didn't really matter what color you used to outline it with. You can flip it over to the blank side and go ahead and use your thick marker to outline the butterfly. outlining my butterfly. Now it's time to start on the detail work of the butterfly's wings. Switch over to a fine tip black marker and let's get started. For this last step, we'll be using whiteout. I recommend staying away from liquid whiteout as it tends to smudge and clump on the brush. Instead, use dry whiteout. It'll go on smoothly.
There you have it. We've created a beautiful accent piece in a little under five minutes, which works well with any outdoor themed scrapbooking page. Thanks for joining us here at Pages for the Ages Scrapbooking. We look forward to seeing you at another one of our tutorials. Thank you.